Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to be making one of these hair clips. This is the kind of clip it's on. Um, I didn't make this one. Uh, I, I bought this at the store. But I figured I'd go ahead and do a tutorial on how to make one of these. So what you're going to do is get the colors you want to use of feathers. This is just a cheap bag of purple and black feathers. They have more expensive kind of feathers, which are actually better to use because they're stiffer and easier to work with. These are really, show you, they're really fuzzy. And the fuzz kind of goes everywhere. So, I like the stiffer ones, but I wanted to kind of just get a cheap bag so I could have a bunch to do a bunch of different tutorials with. So the two bags of feathers, or just however many colors you want, whatever colors you want. I think of these clips, just because these are easier clips to use with that. You can use barrettes or whatever kind of clip you prefer. Hot glue gun, scissors, hot glue sticks, of course. And then you're going to need some kind of ribbon that matches your feather. I don't have plain black, so I'm having to use this black with this shiny edge. Um, and the last thing is a thing of felt. And you're just going to, this is just used to glue the feathers on to hold them in place before you glue them on the clip. So, with that said, let's get started on what you need to do for this tutorial. Okay. First, you need to figure out exactly how you want your feathers. You usually want to go with feathers that are d different lengths. A long one, a medium length one, and a short one. You also need to figure out if you want the long one on bottom like right here. This is the bottom and this is the top. Short one's right here. Let me see if I can fix my camera so you can see that better. Whoops. Okay. So the short one's right here, the tall one's right here. Or do you want the tall one at the top? Which this one actually might be the longest. No, that's the other one. And then the short one on the bottom. So make up your mind how you want it. You're just kind of trying to give it a curve. Make sure the feathers curve also. I think I want my short one on top. And that's how you get them to curve. So you just want them curving down. Which that one's actually overlapping. So it's going to be like that. So... Also, you need to make up what kind of design you want. Today, we're going to do a design that has... I'll have to figure out which feather it is because I can't remember. It's going to have a feather right there. And then it's just going to have the tips of these other feathers showing. You're going to cut the feathers in half and just have the tips showing from the black feathers. So with that being said, you also need to go to the bag and see what kind of feathers you want. They have all kinds. Some are more fluffy, some are more uh, stiff, I guess you could say, because they're easier to work with. And sometimes they clump together. <clears throat> Excuse me. You just gotta rub it a little and it spreads it back out evenly. So you kind of want to match the feather, the purple feather, to the black feather, or whatever color you're using. And I found a few that I think will work. Because you don't want them like too wide. If you do, I mean you can do them wide. But I want my wider feathers at the bottoms. And just at the very tips, just a little bit of purple showing through. This feather, as you can see, is already bent, fixing to break. So you, you can either try to pull it off like I just did or cut it with some scissors. So in this one... I chose for that one because it's just a little showing through. Let's try to zoom this in a little. There, you might can see that a little bit better. So you have that tip showing through. Then I'm going to put this one because this black one's a little bit wider at the top. I'm going to get a little bit of a wider purple one and put it underneath. Now to find one that's going to match this one. I believe this one will work. Let 
try not to mess this up so I don't have to. Yeah, so that one will work. And now that you've figured out which feathers you want to use, put the other ones up so you don't mix them up or anything. And I've already got a clip out, so I'm just going to kind of set that to the side. Now what we need to do is we need to take our scissors and cut the part of the feathers in the purple that we're not going to use. Cut it kind of at an angle on the part that's going to be seen the most. You can cut it straight across, I guess. Yeah, you can. So you can choose to do it at an angle or not. This one's already cut or broke off rather. And let's check the other one. Yeah. You don't have to do it this long. Oops. That's what I mean about the feathers bunching up. Just kind of fix it a little. You don't have to have them this long. You can always cut it shorter because you just want the tips. But I want enough hot glue to do this. Plus, this is my first time doing it. I know how to do it. I just have never actually tried it. So, bear with me on this tutorial. Okay. So, first, let's flip the feather we're going to glue first over. And just along this, I guess you could say the stem of the feather, barely squeeze your hot glue gun. Really, you can just let it, if it if you do have one that just kind of drips a little, a lot of people have non-drip glue guns, but just kind of string it across. You don't want too much. And then take, make sure your feather is curving the same, the purple feather is curving the same way as the black one. And you just want to press this down by the stem. And just hold it. Once it gets a little bit cooler, you can press some with your fingers around the stem. Let's see. Yep, that did it. See? Not too much glue. And it did good. So now let's do the same thing to the other ones. Okay, I've glued the tips on, all three of them. You can have more feathers if you want. Again, you can do as many as you like. I just wanted three. And that's the way I want them to curve. So you just lay them as close together or as far apart as you want them. And then, I guess you could use a little bit of thread to tie these together. Um, I'm actually I'm going to go ahead and get this feather the way I want it. See exactly which way I want it curving. Which I think it's going to be this way because the other one's not. Yeah. So I want it like that. And for this tutorial, I'm just doing the quickest design that I could come up with. Less feathers and everything just to make sure that I could kind of do this video a little bit quicker. Because some of these are layered more and that will take longer. So once you have flipped the feather over and made sure you want to go just put the hot glue gun like you do with the Hot the, glue, have the hot glue on it like you did with the tips and put it on top of the feathers to hold them together and just press down lightly because these feathers are very very delicate so let's see if that yeah that stuck pretty good so now to make sure that they have more um, Stability. This is what it looks like right now. I have my camera zoomed in, so hopefully y'all can see everything. But to give these feathers more stability from the bottom, first take your ribbon, 
because nobody, you know, really likes seeing the very ends of a feather. And that's what this ribbon's for. So go ahead and get some ribbon. Again, I'm using black with this shiny stuff on the side. I don't think it's really going to match, but again, this is the only kind of black ribbon I had. And what you're going to do is you're just going to cut a small piece off. Okay, so yeah, just um, take this ribbon and what you want to do be very careful, careful with these because they're still not stable yet, so don't be too rough with them. But flip them over and take the ribbon and just, you can put it all the way or you can put it half of the way around the feather. So take hot glue, just a little, and I'm going to put it halfway, let's see, halfway across the feathers. I don't know if you can see it because that's a lot of black right there. Press it down. Twist this ribbon. Go ahead and flip back over. Put just a little bit of hot glue right here on the front and braying that ribbon around. And again, this is just to cover up the ends of the feather. This one's actually sticking out a little. Um, and then see where you're going to end off at. I'm going to meet halfway, so I'm going to cut off enough just to meet halfway. So go ahead and put some glue, more glue on the back where the ribbon's at, and twist the rest of that ribbon around and hold. Okay. I didn't actually cover the ends of my feathers up too good, but that's what the ribbon's for. You want to try to cover it up as soon as you want. I mean, as much as you want. And then the very next part would be the felt that you're supposed to have, the sheet of felt. Cut out an oval or an egg shape or just whatever matches how it how it looks, like right here, how it comes down to a point with the feathers. And I want you to put a lot of hot glue right here, all over this felt. Just put as much as you can, where you can keep in mind you still need to have room to put your fingers. Oops, I got some more. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take these feathers, Try to make sure to put it exactly where we want it, and you're going to push that down. And this is to make sure that the feathers stay more stiff, more stable, don't want to fall off easy. Because if you just leave the feathers connected to themselves, they're easier to break. So just really make sure that felt is pressed up against these feathers on the back. That's what it looks like. See, they're, they're easier. They're not trying to fall off now. I can move it without them trying to separate themselves because that glue that we put on earlier is not enough to hold them together. This felt goes higher up the feathers and holds them together. So just really press down. And if you have any sticking off the sides, this one doesn't really seem to have any, but if you do have any like sticking out the side right here, over here, or out the bottom, any felt sticking out at all, just feel free to take your scissors and trim. Mine doesn't really have any sticking out. Okay, now the way you are going to glue this on the clip, you are not going to glue it where you squeeze the clip. You are going to glue this where the, the clip opens. So it's going to be right here. Okay, you can also feel free, which I'm not going to do this, actually, I might do that. You can always cut some more felt, doesn't matter what it's shaped like. It could be a line, it could be the same shape as that oval. I think I'm going to do another oval, or egg shape rather, because that's not really an oval. And 
and you can either put the felt right here on the inside of the clip and then glue this on top of it. I just want to show you all that. You can do that. Or you can just hot glue these feathers down on the clip. So it depends on which one you want to do. I think I'm just going to hot glue it down on the clip. I just cut that felt so I could show y'all what I was talking about. Make sure your feathers don't go in the hot glue right there like mine just did. Okay, so we put some glue down and you can put it on the very tip or you can try to cover the clip up more and just have the very top of the clip where you squeeze it out showing. But you can put it out more down here. I like mine closer to the top. Less of the clip showing, the better. And I think you can get these clips in different colors. I know you can barrettes. In the craft section, clips usually just come in silver. But you can always go to the hair section where the hairbrushes are. And you can just get some plain ones and then add stuff to it. So yeah. Make sure to kind of open this clip to make sure the glue that's squeezed through doesn't keep it stuck. So just hold it open while it finishes drying. And once it's pretty much cool, but not completely hard yet, you can kind of press the glue down to make sure it's flat up against the felt. And then there's our clip. Our feather, hairpin, whichever one you want to call it purple tips and a purple feather right here. So again, this is what this one looks like and this is the one that I actually bought. So there's that one and there's the one that we made. And this is right here, the way this one's dangling right there. That's why I said you won't stick for feathers. <laughs> 